morning everyone. So what we have here right now is a question that applies to everyone if OBS Studio can be installed in a Windows 7 environment. So what we have here is a Windows 7 device that I have and I already uh, downloaded or pre-downloaded the uh, installer for OBS Studio, just the latest version at as of this date, um, October October 12, 2020. So, um, we're going to check if this is uh, true because according to OBS uh, tech guys, there is no, uh, the current OBS version 2403 should work with Windows 7. So if it doesn't work, is it prob it's probably due to some broken things with your Windows 7. So obviously we all know that Windows 7 is no longer supported by Microsoft. It's being out of support. So yeah, that's what we're going to check. Now, what I have here in my system, my device is running on uh, two gigabytes of memory and a 32-bit uh, operating system for Windows 7. And I'm running on 1.6 gigahertz of uh, processing speed. So we're going to try installing it, see what it what happens. This is the first time I'm going to try this. So if you're going to, if you're thinking, if you can also install it on your machine running on Windows 7 on a, a very low um, uh, setup or um, we're going to check if it will work. So let's see. So we're running the install right now, the .exe here. And there you go. It's going to take a while, obviously. So we're going to try and pause the session for now. Wait for the installation to take place. There you, there you go. Actually, we don't have to <laughs> pause the session because the version of OBS Studio is not compatible with your system please use a the 32-bit installer so we're going to try and download the 32-bit installer according to it it needs the 32-bit installer i'm going to go to downloads there you go download installer so actually I did download the 64-bit, uh, the default download that is on the home screen, so it didn't work. So what we're going to do, since we're running on 32-bit, we're going to run download the 32-bit uh, installer for OBS, and hopefully this should work. So right now it's downloading the installer. Like I said, this is the first time that I'm going to try this, installing it in this uh, device with the uh, current setup of my machine. So I'm not sure what's going to happen here, if it's going to blow up. At least it's going to blow up within uh, within us here, any, any moment here. So there you have it. It's almost done. So OBS is really helpful for uh, online streaming, especially for us. And now this device that I have here is good for processing, word processing that is. But for games, of course, it's not going to work. But for Zoom meeting, this is what I actually use. This is an old machine that I have. I already have a newer version of machine here, Windows 10. And uh, there's some much, be much better processing for it. But this one doesn't actually have, it's an old machine I have. so. I just want to try it if it's going to work for this one because I'm not, I'm, I rarely actually use this machine so I'm going to try if it's going to work. So we're running the 32-bit uh, installer right now, there you go. Now we're going to include the uh, download uh, the site on the uh, comment or on the uh, on the uh, information below of this uh, 
video so you will be able to download it as well so there you go it did run in uh, Windows 7 the installer that is for but you have to choose the 32-bit over 64 you have to choose um, the downloads or the downloaded installer you have to choose which one or what based on the system type you have for your machine so for me I got a 32-bit so it needs to have a 32-bit installer as well so that's what we're gonna do and that's uh, what's happening right now it's downloading and installing right now it may just take a minute here or so uh, or two for for the installation to take place okay and it's almost done so again if you're just uh, fast forward it again so what I have here is um, a 32-bit operating system 2 gigabyte of memory 1.6 processor it's a gateway and you see unfortunately this machine cannot be can no longer be updated to 4 gig according to the technician I spoke with there are articles that says that I can actually force it to 4 gig but um, yeah, the technician doesn't want to do that too because it might um, it might broke the system. So, 45% and it's running slow on that part. So again, this machine that I have is actually for uh, good for Zoom meeting. So, like a uh, sh uh, show it to you here. Yeah, I got Zoom installed here on this machine although this is really slow and the uh, and the uh, camera for this is not that good we uh, we were actually forced to use an iPad instead for the online schooling but yeah definitely um, for minimal um, usage this can be can be used so 89 90 and it's going up 100% So I guess some of you may actually just uh, fast forward the video here after the installation is complete. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fast forward it so we will be able to see it how it's gonna not gonna fast forward or speed up the video here so we can also see how it goes. There you have it. So we got uh, OBS installed now. We're gonna run it. See how it goes. So at least if you are able to install it on Windows 7, then you can at least record a uh, video using your OBS in a 2 gigabyte or on a minimal environment like what, uh, what I have here, Windows 7. And I think you can actually move to a different uh, platform after you actually got it uh, recorded using the OBS studio in your older machine. So that's what I'm actually planning to do. I'm actually uh, planning to use this at least I can actually use the other machine I have for other stuff but for this one I think if it will work then I can record my projects here on this uh, device although of course some of us may still prefer using the newer version over the older one because of it's going to be hassle free so I'm just going to pause the session and we're going to oh there you go there's an error message so here's the error that we actually got failed to initialize the video GPO may not be supported or a graphic uh, driver may need to be updated so as you can see I think it boils down to the uh, to sum it all up it's not gonna work or it may actually work but you definitely need to work on something with your windows to make it work properly so apparently the setting that i currently have here is not gonna work current uh device that i may actually have or updates for this windows is not 
gonna let us run the OBS. So, yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try some stuff here, and if ever I got an update for this, I'll keep you guys notified. And I'll put it on the comment section there. Yep, so far everything here in my device manager as you can see is also there. But the current state of this machine, I think it's it's because of the memory of course and the uh, current processing speed. So there you have it. Again, thank you very much for watching and I hope we have learned something here on this uh, video. Don't forget to click uh, subscribe or the like button. Thank you very much and you have a great day. Goodbye.